What is going on beautiful people and welcome to the only place in the universe that supplies you fuel for your dreams, goals, and entrepreneur ambitions for the free reality TV people. And yes, we are back with episode 13 people of It's DNU. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the love. Thank you. You love me. You really love me. <laughs> Thank you guys for continuing to, to participate, to share, and don't forget, I'm gonna continue to remind you guys, keep liking the video, right? Comment in the comment section below of anything you guys will want answered, as well as any, you know, rebuttals to what I say as well. And if you are viewing this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. All right, <laughs> so this episode, we're just gonna focus it on one person. Shout out to the homie, Tina C, AKA, I know her by Miss Barry. Um, she has some very interesting questions that I just wanted to dedicate a full episode to for you guys because I believe a, a lot of people would really benefit from them, okay? So let's jump into these questions um, and get these things answered, all right? So the first question, um, I'm gonna call her Miss Barry, guys. You guys already see her Instagram handle. So first question from Miss Barry is, top three to five things a single person needs to do if they're thinking of moving out on their own for the first time. Phenomenal question, phenomenal question. So the top three to five, I'm gonna keep it at three. I'm gonna keep it real simple, okay guys? First thing, credit score. Credit score, credit scores, credit score. All right, I like my people to be at 680. Once again, 680. Now, there's nuance to this. I prefer my people to be at 680 because banks and lenders at that score, you're open to much more products, much more um, beneficial interest rates. I know many of you guys have been seeing, you know, these low threes, high twos, even lower twos, right? When you're at that 680 score, you can take advantage of a lot more of these programs, right? So the first thing I would encourage you guys to do when you're thinking about moving out, get your credit score at 680. Now, I know people are gonna say, oh my God, Deontay, you don't have to have it. This is true, people. This is true. But the one question I'm gonna ask you guys is, you know, what do you believe, and you can answer this comment in the comment section below, right? What do you guys believe will come with a lower credit score when getting pre-approved from a home? That's the question I want you guys to add, answer in the, the comment section below. So yes, you can have a lower credit score, right? But once again, my question to you guys is, what do you think comes with a lower credit score, right? Cool. <laughs> Number two, you're gonna wanna have two years of employment, so don't quit your job yet. Don't quit your job. Uh, have two years of employment, or you can have two years of a W-2, two years of a 1099. Make sure you have that. And then thirdly, we're just gonna keep it at three, okay? Um, have some money, have some money, right? Especially in particular in this market, in the Orlando area, it's a seller's market. Um, so have some money in the bank um, will, will definitely be beneficial because when you're in a multiple offer situation, if you don't have money, you're gonna have to ask for seller's concessions. And a lot of times a seller is not gonna wanna take that because the other offer, right, is not asking for it. So have some money, have about ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. You know what I mean? Depending on the type of home that you're buying and your price point. Have that in the bank, take the time to save that so, hey, we can ask for the seller's concession, but if we're in a multiple offer situation, we don't have to rely on that. So those are the three things I would recommend, all right? Great question, Ms. Barry. So the next one um, she asks is, what is average someone should save up for down payment on house, down payment on condo, apartment, et cetera? I kind of briefly um, answered that in the, the previous question. That is all dependent on what your price point is. Right, so I can say, hey, have 20,000, hey, have 10,000, but it all depends on kind of your, your purchase price and where you're, you're at, right? I just like to use a nice round number of $10,000. You really can't go wrong at $10,000 when you're looking at a, a home that's around that 250 to 300 
range, right? Um, that's gonna pretty much cover your, your down payment and you're gonna be pretty good to go. But it all depends on, once again, um, kind of what kind of product you're gonna get. Some products, you can put 3% down, some are 3.5, some are 20. So it's all dependent on that. And if you guys have further questions in regards to that, DM me, give me a call, and I'll be more than happy to kind of go over things that are specifically to your criteria. All right, very killing it with these questions, right? <laughs> so her last question is, in terms of rent, is first, last, and security very common or depends on area you're searching? I have no idea is the answer. <laughs> uh, my expertise does not rely on the, the rental market, right? I primarily focus on getting your house sold for the, the most possible at the fastest possible time, as well as finding you a home. That's where my expertise lies. I don't deal really at all with, with rental units. So I don't know the answer to that question. I'm, I'll be honest, you know what I mean? I typically refer that out to my property management partners who kind of handle those type of questions. So sorry, I don't have the answer for that, Barry, but for all the property managers who are watching this, drop comments in the comment section below. And how about you share, you know, with the, the people, how in particular your company would answer that question. All right. So Miss Barry, shout out to you. Love the questions. You guys, you guys continue to drop questions. All right. I love doing this. I love doing this every week, answering your guys' questions. Don't be afraid. Your participation is love and it helps way more than you guys can believe. You should see my DMs in regards to just the feedback people get. Wow, I didn't even know that. I didn't even think about that. So, you know, drop questions, whether it's real estate related, entrepreneurship, my personal life, advice, all of that. Drop that in the comment section below, right? And I need you to remember a few things as always, okay? Dominate, all right? Did the universe, right? Like, comment, and subscribe, right? Don't forget that. <laughs> and remember to tune into Reality T. Beat, people. That's the only place you need to be. You understand me? All right. Peace.